Uh, Shalom Amakim, first and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Recha, Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel, who have told us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Shai, and honors and citations to the elect that can do his work in sincerity and truth. Okay, and um, you know, I'm gonna just entitle this The Most High is Not Mocked. Okay, because here it is you got the coronavirus, you know, it's uh, allegedly killing people, you know, who knows, you know, who knows what's really going on, man, but. Us brothers, that's of the hopeful elect, we know the scriptures. And we know that the scriptures say that pestilences will hit this place. So either way, we know that it's going to get bad. You know, whether it's not really bad right now, and these soldiers are scared tactics to take the vaccine, and then that's when they really get bad. Or some people are even saying the numbers are are extremely low, and they're downplaying the situation. It's it's really more bad than what we even think it is. Hey, at the end of the day, there's, there, there, there's a serious threat out there, man. You know? Which is ultimately east of the so-called white man. Because either way, no matter how you slice it, it's, it's biologically uh, engineered. Okay? Through the most high anyway. Right? So, you know, with that being said... You got a huge threat on the uh, 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 horizon. Matter of fact, let me get a scripture real quick. Two of them come to mind. Proverbs 21 and 31. It says, The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord. And right, that first part, the horse is prepared against the day of battle. And that, that just makes me you know you know apostle kabar always teaches to really have a vivid imagination of the scriptures you know and the horse being prepared for the day of battle i think of a uh, gad man and how they would paint the horses you know and they would get them ready to uh uh uh, uh, uh to go to war man so here it is it's like you uh it's like you um in a, in, a, in a Gadite tribe and, and a chief Tells you to paint Paint the horses Get the horses ready man So right now the horses is ready Okay Or another period of time You'll put a uh, armor you put armor upon your horse So this way nobody can strike it The horses are ready man They're ready to go to war Meaning what? War is on the horizon and it could go down in any second, man. You know, the scriptures say the enemy shall come in like a flood. And the spirit of the Lord shall look up and stand it against him. The enemy could come in at any second, man. All right. That's why scriptures, that's why I'm jumping over. But come, can't forget the last part, but safety is of the Lord. So safety is of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. Not a mass, not a bug out bag, not your uh, uh, fists, not your guns. But of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Right? And that's why this is also Ezekiel 21 and, and, and 9. Son of man prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, say, a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sword slaughter, it is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It contendeth the rod of my son as every tree. See? And he hath given it. To be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened, it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Okay. So again, how is the one that sharpened the sword? And he actually gave it to the slayer, which is Esau, the so-called white man, which is why he's really not even getting the credit, man. You know? He's the damn devil. And the Mosai is using them as a whipping stick. 
So here it is. You got a sword that's sharpened and getting ready to be used. You got horses that are war ready, painted armor on them, getting ready to go to war. And you got Jake making skits, making jokes, you know, playing around. Okay. And this is why you got the this is a coronavirus. I just looked up coronavirus skits. You see, of course, SNL. You know, second video looks like Jake. Jake right here. Jake again. All right, some weird looking crap. Jake again. Jake again. Jake again, Issacharites. Okay. And it's a lot more. Jake again. Jake again. Jake again. Jake again. See? Goddamn Elam. Which might be damn Jake's themselves. Okay. So. Are people still thinking it's a joke? In the World War Three, you had you had the World War Three um, skits. You know, which yes, some of them was funny as hell. But uh, the scriptures say there's one that uh, 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 laugh, but on the inwardly, you know, he's a uh, 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 sad, roughly paraphrasing. You know. So here it is, our people still thinking that this shit is a joke, man. Right? That's why back in um, Luke 17. Because here it is, the Lord. The Lord has set everything up perfectly, man. Okay? lucky the lord set everything up perfectly man you know God. all right he sees our people being wicked he's getting ready to punish the living hell out of them he set up the prophets to warn you to repent this is your last chance and jake is still laughing and joking around man the scriptures speak upon jacob's trouble Yahweh said it's going to be a time that the earth has never seen before since there was a nation. No, no ever shall be seen, man. You can't say the Lord is immerciful, man. Do the apostles, do the uh, elders, elders, and the apostle elders, look, through the elder apostles, and the elders and the Akimon down, we've been out there for uh, decades, man. Okay. You know, as a as a body, as one as one, you know, we've been out there for decades if you want to put it like that. Our people have plenty of time to to repent and get right. Instead they choose to make skits? Are you kidding me? Matter of fact, before I read that, I got to read the scripture for the title. It says be not deceived, the most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. See? So, look, man, at the end of the day, the Most High is not mocked. You're not going to get the last laugh. Okay? That's why the scriptures say, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You have no clue that these viruses are actually coming from the Lord to punish you wicked ass niggas. The scriptures say, what well, my people does not even consider. So when in reality, while you're making skits, thinking that it's funny for what whatever reason, again, whatever reason was it again? I don't know. You're actually uh, 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 
mocking the Most High. Okay? Because the Most High really set these things up to punish you people so that you can fear Him. And you throwing it right back in His face by making a joke out of it. And let me just get this scripture right here real quick. Because trust me. No, don't even trust me. Trust the scriptures. Ain't nobody going to be joking. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to be fucking joking when this thing goes down. This is Luke 21 and 26. It says, men's hearts failing them for fear. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. See? So men's men's hearts are going to be failing them for fear. It ain't going to be no joking. It ain't going to be no more skits. It's going to be the real deal. And trust me, ain't nobody going to be tough enough to stand there and take it like a fucking G, man. It ain't going to be no tough guys, man. All right? Ain't going to be no tough guys. Real soon, there's not going to be no tough guys, man. The only tough guys is going to be the hopeful elect. And it's not even because, 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 uh, 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 we're tough. It's because we got the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Basham Al Shai. And Yahweh Basham Al Shai is dealing with us, is gonna, and gonna protect us. And, and because we're happy to see the fall of our enemies, you know? This is Proverbs 10 and 24. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. See? And, 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 and everybody got fears. Okay, everybody got fears, man. You know, these two thirds they got fears. They may look like they are, are tough guys and doing skits. They try and look like they cool, but at the end of the day, they they got fear. Their biggest fear could be they they don't want that somebody snatches up their uh, 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 little son, or or you know or or whatever. Their deepest fear they could be scared of fucking snakes. And the Lord is gonna bring that right upon you, man. Because you're gonna have to learn how to fear. The, you're gonna have to learn to fear Yahweh Basham Al Shai, right? So, you, are people still joking around, thinking it's uh, uh, funny, getting likes, getting comments, getting subscriptions, getting lives? And I'm gonna end it off with this, because it's the same thing, Luke 17 and 26. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat. They drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. See? So they was what? Have 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 fun. They was having fun, man. They was probably laughing at Noah. Yo, it is the fuck is this? It's probably what the hell is this? You're building up. You know what I'm saying? They probably tried to climb him, man. You know? Making skits. So to speak, you know, in this day and age. Okay. Noah was like the butt the butt of the joke. The butt of everybody's joke. Okay. Until what? It says again. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all, right? So now what's that flood? What's that flood, man? The flood represents that destruction. Martial law. They're going to be having fun until martial law comes and destroys them all. Until the pestilence comes, destroys them all. Until the famine comes, destroys them all. Until the evil beast comes, destroys them all. Until guess what? Until Jeremiah 15 and 4 comes, man. Okay. Salakia 15 and 2. Um, matter of fact, this is good too. This is good too, Salaki. But I want to get the specific scripture I'm thinking of. mixes them up man always mix them up Jeremiah 16 and 4 it says they shall die of grievous deaths Whoo! oh my 
I'm scared for you, bro. Hey, I'm scared for you, two thirds, man. I'm scared for you, two thirds. Lord willing, this don't be a, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, me, man, you know, or 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 or, or any of you all came out there in the highways and byways. Lord willing, you help Hashem Hashem protect us, man. You know, Lord willing, us brothers be good, man. You know, we did the works. A lot of dudes fell off already. We are we at the end. It's looking like, hey, the brothers that's here, Lord willing, man. You know, we good, but like I said, I'm scared for you two third niggas, man. Says if you describe something such as a loss as grievous, you mean that is extremely serious or worrying in its effects. See? A grievous injury to your body is one that causes you great pain and suffering. See? So that's what's coming to you, niggas, man. The jokes is gonna be done. Alright, with that, shalom to the elect.